We begin in Tukia. Rajib Tayyip Erdogan has a mandate to rule until 2028, having secured five more years as leader of a country at the crossroads of Europe and Asia that plays a key role in NATO. Leaders across the world have sent their congratulations, highlighting Turkey's enlarged role in global politics. His next term is certain to include more delicate maneuvering with fellow NATO members over the future of the alliance and the war in Ukraine. Here's how both Russia and the West are wooing the Turkish president. U.S. President Joe Biden spoke after talking to Erdogan on the phone to congratulate him on winning the Turkish election. Biden said Erdogan raised the possibility of U.S. sales of F-16 aircrafts to Turkey. The U.S. president brought up Turkey as dropping its opposition to Sweden entering the NATO. NATO partners are anxiously waiting for Ankara to approve Sweden's stalled bid to join the U.S.-led defense alliance. Erdogan has blocked the application accusing Stockholm of sheltering Turkish opposition figures with alleged links to outlawed Kurdish militants. I spoke to Erdogan. Oh, yes. congratulated Erdogan, and uh, he uh, he still wants to work on something on the F-15s. I told him we wanted to deal with Sweden until I get that done, and uh, so we'll be back in touch with one another. But I it was basically a congratulatory call. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz also spoke to Erdogan and invited him to visit Berlin. As per an official release, Scholz emphasized. That Biden says Sweden will shortly connect to NATO at United States Air Force report. U.S. Commander-in-Chief Joe Biden projected on Thursday Sweden will soon join NATO, talking at the U.S. Air Force Academy days after he suggested at a conceivable agreement to conquer Turkey's disapproval to acknowledging the Nordic Republic to the coalition. Biden, in a patriotism commencing speech in Colorado Springs, Colorado, cautioned alumni they will enter service in a progressively unsteady world, mentioning concerns from Russia and China. On Monday, Biden talked to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to commend him on his reappointment. Biden told journalists Erdogan reiterated Ankara's aspiration to purchase F-16 fighter jets from the U.S., while Biden advocated Ankara to decline its aim to Sweden's unification with NATO. In his initial communication, Biden said NATO is tougher despite Russian President Vladimir Putin's effort to break the association with his incursion of Ukraine. It is reinforced in advancing, he said, by the latest entrance and acceptance of Finland, and soon, Sweden. I quote it will happen, I promise you, he said, but provided no details. On Monday, Biden said he would speak to Erdogan again soon. NATO's annual summit is in Vilnius, Lithuania, in July. Key international issues despite disagreements. The two leaders have not always seen eye to eye, backing opposing players in conflicts in West Asia and the ex-Soviet Caucasus region. But they have developed strong ties. Putin told Erdogan, who he called his dear friend, that his victory was clear evidence of the Turkish people's support. Turkey has leverage in key areas for Moscow, such as the war in Syria, the Kremlin's standoff with NATO, and the large-scale Ukraine offensive. Ankara has delivered drones to Kyiv, but it has refused to join sanctions against Moscow. It has so far become an important alternative transit hub for heavily sanctioned Russian exports. Turkey has also mediated between Kyiv, the West, and Moscow, including by helping broker the deal that allowed Ukrainian grain exports to resume. Putin praised the great significance of projects between Moscow and Ankara, including the Russian-built nuclear power plant to Kiev's first. Yes, a Hollywood-styled video to announce the counter-offensive. But Ukraine is going to need more than that. This is perhaps Zelensky's last chance. The war in Ukraine began 15 months ago. So far, Russia has dictated the pace of this conflict. Kyiv is trying to turn the tables. It wants to gain an upper hand and push Russia into submission. That's the objective of Ukraine's counter-offensive. Kyiv has spent months preparing for this. 
the expectations are high. So what are Ukraine's plans? Tonight, we'll tell you. We begin with what's happening Please on the Please join the, the conversation. Ukraine Put your says, comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the Makad TV family. Please like and share Makad TV. We love you all. Please support Makad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.